can see here it's pretty off just a tad as you can see in the print here it's an overlay what's up youtube in today's video i'm going to show you how to do a sleep print uh here what i have is a, a custom palette that i had made it is uh 21 inches uh in length and four and a half inches in width and the way i make this is just with your basic uh, mdf board uh, you see here i'm measuring it out uh it's 21 inches uh, like i said in length and then four and a half inches in width um, the reason I made it four and a half inches in width is because sometimes you're gonna have to print um, uh, youth sizes and a lot of those sleeves are, are pretty tight, pretty small. So I just wanted to kind of make it universal. So I just made it four and a half inches in, in width. Um, as you see here, the bracket I used was just a, you know, a, a bracket I had from a, an existing palette that I just took off. Uh, so what I'm doing here is I'm taking off this palette uh, and loading my, my sleep palette here. And like I said, it's just basic MDF board and then I put um, just that, uh, the uh, palette tape on it. Uh, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is when you expose your screen, uh, you're gonna flip the image. Uh, you're not gonna invert the image, but you're, you're gonna actually flip it upside down. I know you can't really see it too well here, uh, but what I do is I load my palette and then from there I put a piece of tape, as you see that, that piece of tape there, and that tape is gonna serve as, a, as my guide. Um, you see here, so I'm gonna load that right onto the sleeve on the seam. So as long as I have that, that tape straight on the seam, it, it's all straight. So from here, it's gonna be a two color print. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and you know give it my my first uh, my first pass, which is gonna be gray ink, uh, just to register both colors because it's gonna be uh, gray and black. So as you can see here, I have my gray, and you see what I'm saying when I say the image is inverted. Um, the reason I invert the image is because I put the the actual shirt in by the neckline. Uh, when I was first starting out, what I would do was I just load the sleeve. And the, the bad thing about that is that there's too much weight on the opposite side. So what's gonna happen is it's gonna start moving on you. So I just load it by the by the actual neck. I throw the neck in there and you know the sleeve, it's not gonna move on you at all. So as you can see, it's registered there pretty good. I'm gonna load my actual t-shirt on there, uh, cover my registration marks, and uh, we're pretty much good to go. Uh, like I said, you're gonna wanna go right where your, uh, where your tape is. Uh, it just depends how high or how low you want it, but that's just gonna serve as, as your guide, like I said. Um, so like I said, it's a uh, two color print, black first, flash it. Um, the reason I only have one uh, sleeve palette is because it takes way too long to change out all your palettes, you know, do 20 shirts, 25 shirts. Uh, and then come back and change all your palettes. So I just do one at a time. It takes a little bit more time, but you know, it's easier in, in the long run. So there it is, uh, pretty much ready to go. Uh, two color print, uh, sleeve print, like I said, uh, it's just a regular MDF board palette. Um, you know, they sell them online. They're probably gonna run, you know, 40, 50 bucks, but then, you know, make your own, you know, five bucks. I always like to keep a piece of MDF board just in case I, you know, have to make a, some type of custom palette. As you see here, I'm running through them pretty good. Uh, you know, no problems really. So this print here, this shirt is actually uh, on both sides. I didn't, I didn't show you that I did the other side. So here's the print, uh, looks pretty good. Um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.